Hello everyone. So this video, yes, this video is something that I'm making using uh, my ThinkPad T14 and, and I know I have been talking about it quite a lot, but I just wanted to share my experience because uh, you may want to uh, maybe switch your machine or if you're thinking about uh, purchasing uh, another ThinkPad, then uh, I just wanted to, you know, let you know that it is super easy as long as you are organized with uh, your files, with your dot .files, with uh, your uh, configurations. And as long as you have these configurations stored somewhere, for example, maybe maybe GitHub or maybe your local repository, you can always, you know, swiftly switch your machines. It is uh, really convenient. Now, today I actually focus, I, I want to focus on, uh, and I want to talk about just one small utility called uh, XEV. Now, when you're dealing with uh, Linux, and in case you want to improve your workflow, in case you want to get the most out of your uh, uh, customized version of your uh, desktop, then you need to always uh, configure your own shortcuts. And I'm not really talking about shortcuts that you would use within, let us say, a specific application. You need to use shortcuts uh, basically con to control your computer. And uh, if you're using Arch Linux, then you will be forced to do it yourself because when you install Arch Linux, you will get nothing but uh, a blank machine, of course, you know, a base installation, and then you build on top of it. So you basically end up building your own system. Now, the the utility, the utility that I'm going to talk about is called as uh, XEV. And uh, basically, this, this utility will uh, simply display <coughs> uh, the events that are captured using your keyboard. Uh, on a console or on, on a terminal. And this is really useful because uh, when you configure, let us say, your own uh, uh, file, your own, uh, I mean, not, not, not a file, but basically your own configuration using uh, an application like uh, SXHKD, uh, which is really, really useful. Uh, you can, all, of, of course, always use uh, any other application. There are plenty of uh, applications that can uh, let you configure your own shortcuts and run some commands. But you need to know the keys. You need to know the exact key name uh, so that you can configure it. For example, let me show you my, I mean, the content of my my configuration file for SXHKD. And this is basically a very simple file where you can actually store uh, or basically tell your uh, uh, utility that what you want to do when it comes to executing something. For example, if I press uh, super shift A, like which is my Windows key, along with shift and then uh, A, it will open uh, the ELSA mixer so that I can control the volume. But of course, I don't always control the volume like this. I also want to control the volume using uh, the dedicated buttons that we have on machines. Uh, on Think ThinkPad X220. Let me show you my ThinkPad X220, which sadly is uh, sitting um, somewhere else, not really on my desktop. So basically, you have these buttons on top, basically these buttons that you can see. So these buttons will let you control the volume, but, but it won't always work. For example, uh, I am using, uh, uh, I mean, in your DWM, you can actually configure what these buttons can do, but you can also use something like this. You can actually execute this command, uh, like A mixer, set master, 5% plus, 5% minus, and so on. And at the same time, if you want to toggle the, uh, the, the mute, basically there's a mute button. If you press it, it will uh, turn off or turn on the master volume. This is something that didn't really work really well on my ThinkPad, because if, if you toggle the master volume, it should work but thinkpad is i think uh, i think it's a known issue, known issue i'm not really sure of, about uh, why this is the issue with thinkpad but th this is an issue i mean uh, i searched online at the same time uh, you can see here that i mean the main thing is that you want to know uh, these uh, like codes for example uh, to if, when you want to raise the volume of course you can press uh, the button and it will tell you it will show you so let me show you let me actually run the run the utility so if you run this xev it will give you this this uh, interface where on the right hand side let me just bring this here so that we can uh, see these keys so here you can see all the keys if i like expand this and if i press let us say um, 
let us say the volume uh, up button so you can see here hopefully it will show you something let me try again so let me just reduce the size of this okay so you can see here that uh, while i'm pressing this it is uh, so right now it is not really working let me just oh come on i need to you need to focus your mouse on this white area so that it will uh, work okay so you can see here that uh, there is some activity happening and uh, if you press different keys here it will actually grab it for example uh, if you press uh, the left alt key if, or if you press the super key it will actually show you these things on on the screen so this is really useful and uh, this uh, utility you can of course use it if you want to be super accurate but uh, if you search online you will always find like a key map or some kind of a table where it will tell you for this model these are the exact keys that you need to press so this is just one utility which i uh, i have been using uh, and uh, of course you you won't be like looking at these keys every day you just need to configure your shortcut manager whatever you created that you're using to configure it and and then of course you can forget about it so uh, now by the way this video is something that i'm making using t14 i'm using this using the exact same script so I, i'm still going to use ffmpeg to record my videos uh, i might bump up the quality of my video because why not because this thinkpad can definitely handle it uh, but i don't really I, i still prefer the small video file size and at the same time uh, uh, i mean the quality right now is still full hd i might increase the bit rate slightly because if you increase the bit rate in your uh, script when you are using ffmpeg based script then uh, it will uh, also increase the overall size but i think for making videos using uh, your computer if you want to just grab your screen then i think this works really well and uh, and and good thing is that everything worked everything just worked out of the box or basically the moment i configured or brought my scripts on this computer it was all seamless all right that is it that is all for today and uh, and now i'm i'm happy with my purchase thinkpad t14 and uh, it is definitely although my x20 was not slow but this is definitely fast i can feel it i mean when you're doing some things on let us say for example when you upload a video on youtube uh, it was not super quick and the interface the browser was la was a bit laggy i mean like it it was not bad but it was still i mean i, I can now feel the difference uh, with a faster machine that yes it is super quick when you upload like a full video and uh, overall everything works uh, nicely and i'm happy with it of course i missed the dock my dock is sitting there but uh, i am now using this usb c based dock in fact i have one uh, uh one one more dock which I, let me just show you, show you so i have this uh, dell dock uh, with me which uh, i want to use so I'll, i'll i'll probably use this and i i just need to check i think it will definitely work but uh, i didn't really get a chance to you know try it out so this is uh, you know i mean you can also find like similar docks for think pads they are actually quite expensive to be honest and because i already have this so i'll probably use this and let us see i'm not really planning to have like multiple displays although think pad t14 can have uh, more than two displays great but i'm 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 happy with just one monitor one extra monitor anyways that is it that is it for today i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye